Hey guys, I'm really excited to show you again what we're giving away in the next few months. We've got three of the Mossberg 930 JM tactical shotguns, all tricked out just like this to give away. Same gun I shoot in competition. We've got three Vortex Razor 1x6 telescopic sights. Stellar prizes right here, guys. We've got three of these to give away. We also have three of the Vortex Razor 6-minute red dot sights to give away. Excellent quality red dots. To be eligible to win these prizes, you have to be a subscriber, like and comment on, on our videos, and you'll find more information on the link below. So, now we're going to get into the meat of the subject here. What we're going to do next, guys, we're going to take the old 9, 929 revolver out, and we're going to go out to 400 meters with it, except we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to try to hit some balloons. We're going to shoot it upside down at 400 meters, using a little finger, of course, to fire the gun, and uh, see what that looks like. So, as soon as we get our equipment loaded up, we're going to head to the range. Guess what? We're out on the rifle range again. I've got some 400 meter targets up. I've got some balloons on some 18 by 24 inch square steel targets. And I've got my trusty 929 JM revolver. I've got some 140 grain, 147 grain XTP ammunition. So what I'm going to do here to make this a little bit harder, I'm going to go ahead and shoot this balloons for you, shoot these balloons for you, upside down, double action, and uh, see what happens. So. Let's see if we can make all that happen. We'll start on the target on the left. It's a yellow balloon. And let's see what that looks like. Woo! Guys, that was really hard. But I tell you what, I got another one next to it. Let me get another clip. <laughs> we got that left target. We're going to go for the right target, guys. Here we go. Ah, that one got away. Oh! Woo! Total surprise shot, guys. What you supposed to have? Banzai. Woo! Wow! <laughs> Maybe there is a range god. He's shining on me, so took five shots, but I'll take it. So, guys, 400 meters, revolver upside down. What I was really trying to do is keep the edges of that scope. Try to keep them square with the target. If you don't, you get some parallax in there. It's hard to keep the dot in the center of the screen. The big thing, the big problem I think with, with this whole performance is my inconsistency of the grip. At that distance, if you vary that tension on the stock just a little bit, you're gonna get a lot of oscillations and uh, not really get a good target performance. So what I was trying to do, I was wobbling about twice the distance of this plate. So what I was seeing was uh, probably an 18, 20 inch wobble at the best so i'm just trying to trigger it what i can see and make it happen you can see i was a little bit low but it just might be the way it's sighted in or it might be a little parallax or i might just be a little jumpy so i was low here and i was also low on this target so there was some consistency in the in the performance but uh i might have to go back and tweak the optic a little bit and try it again but uh, all in all guys uh 400 meters with the revolver upside down it's a good day on the range 